is Labor Day weekend, then I'm at the gate of the garden. And what are you going to do? I'm going to give you a tour of the gardens and the grass beds that you can see in the background. What year is it? This year is 1993. Oh, okay. Labor Day weekend? Yes. So it's sort of like the end of the season? Yes. And what are we doing tomorrow? We are going back to school tomorrow. Who's this we, Tonto? Me. You're going back to school? Mm -hmm. And you will be a? Fourth grader. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so how's the garden? Should I follow you? Yeah. Bye. Bye, Chris. Here we've got um, some lettuce, some beets, and some other stuff. I'm not sure what it is. Well, walk, kind of walk around, sort of like Edward R. Murrow when you're pointing it out. Lettuce. Yeah. Lettuce. Yeah. Lettuce. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. Which are the beets? Kale. Which are the beets? Beets. Yeah. How can you tell? Because I've got red beets. Yeah. And everything else. And that other stuff back there is like leftover lettuce, huh? It's sort of the end of the season, so we sort of have what's left, right? Yeah. What's that stuff over there in that next bed? This one? No, the one toward the end there. What? This one? The one to your left. Yeah. Spinach. Yeah. Okay. Where were your carrots this year? Oh, right here. Carrots are over here. Mmm. Show that to the camera. Is that a typical carrot? Uh, actually, it's more of a small form. Oh, wait. You threw it away too quickly. Very sorry. Okay, now, who eats these carrots? Oh. Here's another just about the same size. Okay. That's a good thing they're all the same color. Yeah. Alright, so show me some other things in the garden. Boy, you like pulling those carrots, don't you? That's like one for everybody today. Just throw them on the ground and we'll come back and pick them up. Okay, okay now show me where the tomatoes are. Tomatoes. Well, you can really tell. These are the tomatoes. Yeah. And these are our peppers. Yeah. Can you sh walk in the pepper and show, show people how high the peppers are? No, to the big tall one in the back. Pretty high peppers, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, just about here. What's those things next to the peppers? Oh, these are tomatillos. 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 Okay, now show me what's in this front bed here. Sure. Right by my feet. This one, lettuce, 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 lettuce. And this is, um... What is that? Broccoli. Broccoli. Oh, you, you know what we haven't shown anybody? Let's show them those eggplants we have in the back there. Oh, yeah. Our eggplants this year have gotten enormously bigger than usual. But see, this looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's not big enough yet. We'll pick them up. Okay, what's that stuff on the back fence over there? Those are beans. Oh. Okay. What's all that stuff way in the back beyond the fence? Well, I saw also grass beds, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's, um, what are we going to do now? Let's go into a grass bed. All right. Should I say, should I clip it out until yeah. we get over there? Yeah, yeah. okay. Let's say goodbye. Bye. And now we're standing at the grass beds, Catherine? Mm -hmm. Which one is this one? This one is, um... No, which grass bed is it? It's the one right behind the barn, right? Yeah. Okay, let me just kind of pan the grass bed. So this is the way, this This is the first one we planted, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, and this is how it looks in the fall of 1993, right? And it's pretty tall. And the one, the grass right behind you is called? Zebra grass. Why is it called zebra grass?
I know, because it looks like a zebra, right? Because it has variegations in color, right? Yep. Okay. Now, how many other beds are there? There are four other beds. These are big beds, right? Yeah, three were planted when? Uh, last mm, two years ago. Two. And one was planted this three. year. This year. Okay, so go and kind of let's go walk over there to those for, oh, bigger ones. Just so I can get a sense of the size. Okay. Kind of, can you stand into it, sort of? Pretty, okay, pretty tall, isn't it? Hmm? Over here, over here, Daddy. Over here. Some place in that grass bed is a little girl? Yeah, this is um, a very um, big, you could say. Oh, grass. Yeah. Oh, say that again? They're supposed to grow to 12 feet. Really? Well, they're, they're getting there, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, now this one over here on the left is the new one, right? So it's still small. Okay. Yeah. Kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah. This is one of the the three older ones. Well, it's the end of the year. Yeah, but these are still going on. Yeah. Be here for a long, long time. Okay, show me the this funny grass over here that looks like fireworks. Fireworks? This one? Oh, that one? Yeah. Um, I can see you. No. Oh, that fireworks. Okay, well, that's not the fireworks I meant, but that's okay. You like? You think those are fireworks? Yeah. Okay, that's another. That's one of the old beds, right? The one right to your left, that one that the, the, the grass heads are flopping down on the ground. Yeah, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Kind of gold, yeah. You know which one is the blue stem? No, no. That's a yucca. It is a pinchy, doesn't it? Okay, you know where the blue stem is? It's around on the other side. Here, I'll show you. We're on the other side of one of the old beds, and what have you found? I think this one's the blue stem. Yeah, and why is it blue stem? Because it's got a blue stem. Very good. So if we just pan this way, we see two of the old ones. Old, old beds, that is. Okay. Older. Older beds. All right, you know what we should do now? What? Let's kind of walk down the meadow and look at all four of them sort of from that direction and let's go in the orchard and shoot back and then you can take a few pictures okay okay, huh. okay. we are in the south meadow right mm -hmm. and we're going to pan which means to kind of move the camera yeah. okay and we're going to look at all four beds now from a lower elevation and there's the one that we planted this year it's the one with the short growth right yeah oh look who's in the background mother. the mommy what's she doing I wonder why. It's probably water something. Okay, and then as we go this way, we see the three old ones, right? Yep. There's the first one there in the foreground, and there's the kind of one in the middle in the back, and there's this one on the side, right? Mm -hmm. And then we find the barn, right? Yep. And as we pan down, we see the garden, and we see the house, which has some black tar paper on it, right? Yep. Why is that? Because we're getting a new roof. We're getting a new roof. Oh, that explains those bang, bang, bangs all the time? A hammer sound? Ouch! In other words, that hammer sound is the hammer yes. of the roofers. Yes, it is, and I'm getting bitten to You're getting bitten by what? <laughs> huh? Oh, my poor thing. Whoa! Okay, now if we continue the pan, we see the raspberry patch, the zucchini patch, and finally down there on the south side, we see the orchard, right? Okay, now where do you want to take your picture? 
from you mean from the orchard? No. Not from the orchard. Wait, I can't hear you. Not from the orchard. Oh. Well show me which direction. Over this direction. Okay. Alright, now let's this is one final look at things before Catherine takes over. Uh, this is sort of an interesting zucchini patch, right? And then of course back here the is the orchard with the trees now in fences. Why did we put fences around the trees, Catherine? So that the deer won't nip them. So the deer won't eat them again. Actually, you know what you should do? What? Show people the pumpkins, those little Tom Thumb pumpkins that you're going to give to your friends in school. Because they're kind of cute. It's these itty bitty little pumpkins. Oop, close enough. Now it's well, just pull the leaf off. It's called a pumpkin. Oh, I know that. But what are they, this guy, it's called a Tom Thumb. What do they call a Tom Thumb? You know? Do you know why they call it Tom Thumb? Because it's so small. It's, and who was, was there? Was there a was a character in literature called Tom Thumb who was small, right? Yes. Yeah. And you, you give one of those to each of your classmates. Yeah. So which means you need about what? Fourteen of them. You think we got fourteen there? Yeah. Probably got about fifty, don't we? Can you find are those big gourds still here? Did your mother pick those? Mm -hmm. Those green gourds that she's trying to use as bird nests. There's a little one. She'll pull it up. Don't tear it off the vine, but just kind of lift it out of the vine for the camera. Well, there's only little ones. Oh, how little is little? Really little. Oh, itty bitty little. Okay. Well, we can't see. All right. So if we just pan this way down. See, we, this is a pumpkin. Whoop. Pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin. Then we see the grass beds looking from which direction? From south. Give me the camera. South. Okay, just hang on one second. And that's sort of what we see. That's what, would we call this the last shot of 19, the growing season of 1993? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, now try camera. Now you want the camera, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and there we have three people on the roof banging away, putting new roofing shingles on. Okay, now we're going to just wait, Catherine, get, get, so I can, I'll finish with you, close up on you, okay, and you will say something profound. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to take a picture. And do what? And show you some more stuff. Okay, so should I shut the camera off? Yeah, for me. For you, okay, goodbye. Goodbye. And, uh, here we are, just looking back at the house. And the garden. And here are some um, raspberries and zucchinis over here. And there's the Coleman's house. And um, here are some of the trees uh, for our orchard. Can I give you a secret? What? Just keep, uh, when you pan, when you move, uh -huh. do it slowly, because if you do it too fast, then when you watch it on TV, you almost yeah. want to get sick, because it gives you motion sickness. So oh. when you pan, go real slow. Here's a tree. And I'm not sure what kind, but we got the fence up, and we got some, um, uh, soaps on them, I think, still. Yep, we still got the soaps on them. Yep. Keep the gear away, right? Yep. Okay. And I'm going to go closer up to the grass bed now. And here we are now, closer to the grass beds. Um, this is our low one. We just planted this here. Pretty big, isn't it? Well, that's the back of the barn that you see in the distance. And some of these are actually larger, but you can't really see how big they are on a camera. But they'll get bigger, a lot bigger. And these are the taller grasses. 
from there all the way to up there. And if you want to get a close up of what those things look like, there you go. And then this over here, or over here actually. Our other grasses, not quite so tall, and their tops look like that. Just plain old tops. And this is one my dad called fireworks. They look kind of weird. <laughs> And this is another batch, and it's, um, well, kind of small. And those are things that the bees like, and they're all around. And they have fuzzy heads like that. Okay. And there's some more grasses up there. And there's a the garden, part of the pool. And then around here. And those are some more zebra grasses, I think. Or they look like it, at least. I have something to show you, too. And this Hi, Catherine. Is... Hi. Guess what I have to show you. What? I have to show you something I found on the ground. What? A Tom Thumb pumpkin. I wonder how you found it, Dad. I don't know. Now, come on. Don't point it at me. Well, Dad, I want to. Oh, all right. Well, here. You do what you want. You do what Daddy, you want. Daddy, look at me. I'm looking at you. See this little wildflower? Kind of like a straw flower, isn't it? A smile. I'm smiling. Smile bigger. Put the Tom Thumb pumpkin near your mouth. Like that? <laughs> Does that give you a size? Yeah, okay. Are you doing a nice job on the camera? I think so. You get some of these blue flowers? What are you doing? Taking a full length picture of you. I I can't find the blue flowers. Right here. Oh, there they are. I'm going to go back to the house. You want to keep doing that until you uh, think you've done enough? Hmm? Sure, Dad. All right. But my arm's kind of getting tired. Your arm's getting tired. Okay. Plus, I... Well, that happens sometimes. That's why uh, Steven Spielberg has a, uh, what they call... Uh, and these are some tall arm. ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to go up to the pool, yeah. so just to show you a picture of the pool, and so I'll see you up there.